Hello, my name is Karen Hughes. In this module, we're going to discuss time forecast models as part of the BMC TrueSight Capacity Optimization How-To video series. A model, in its simplest form, is taking some type of performance data, applying some type of algorithm to it, to anticipate or predict some type of future behavior. In this particular module, we're going to focus on time forecasting models only, but other modules will actually discuss some of the other types of models that can be completed in the solution. To create a time forecast model, there are both model inputs and outputs. The inputs include the actual measured performance data for either a system entity or business driver, a backward time frame for the period that you're going to want to apply the forecast to, as well as a forward forecast time frame that you want to apply what you want to anticipate in the future, a forecast algorithm that you're going to apply to that data, and optionally you can apply some type of threshold, either fixed or dynamic, to indicate where you want um, some type of, of utilization to occur. The output is actually predicted resource utilization or workload behavior determined by that algorithm applied to that performance information to ultimately decide potentially if you're going to estimate a critical date of either saturation or breaching some type of threshold. There are many different forecast algorithms that are in the solution. The ones on the screen indicate some of the types that we actually can apply to that forecasted data. Understand that not everybody have PhDs in mathematics, so if you're not familiar with some of these different types of algorithm, that's okay. You have the ability in the solution to let the solution choose for you the quote-unquote best fit, in which case it's going to apply the correct algorithm based on the performance data that you actually indicated as the model input. Here the screen shows four different types of sample forecast time models that indicate different types of uh, forecasted behavior based on the performance data and the various algorithms that were applied. Some will show more cyclical behaviors and other show more linear uh, behavior in nature, but all can show you the different types of ways that you can see different forecasting model algorithms applied to your performance data. So let's take a look at how to accomplish this in the solution. Okay, so let's log on to the system, navigate to the workspace, Go to the domain that's in question and make sure we have either a system or business driver in the domain. Go to the works area, click over here and say add model. The wizard will appear and we'll make sure the radio button for time forecast models is selected. Make sure to choose the systems in our domain. We're going to choose CPU utilization as our metric that we're going to forecast. And we're going to use the default monitor thresholds that are indicated in the solution. Once we're finished, we're going to create, we now have the outline for our model, and we're going to add a scenario that's going to be titled uh, two, next two months. And we're going to choose the last four months of data in the past, and also forecast forward two months, and see how our data performs by doing a, a time series forecast. Upon doing so, we have two that indicate some type of um, saturation or bottleneck. If we look at this one, you can see that the time series forecasted indicates that we're going to breach some type of um, thresholds that were defined by the other area. And we could also take a look at some of the other different types of um, graphs that were generated by the time forecast model that we selected. In this particular case, the core shows us that we have the four months of performance data and the forecasted period of two months. So that's how quick and easy it is to create a time forecast model. And that concludes this module in the BMC TrueSight Capacity Optimization How-To video series. I want to thank you for your time and look forward to you listening to other how-to videos as part of the series in the future. Thanks and have a great day.